Hello and welcome to the 33rd video in this series of programming videos on a chess engine in C. So in this video I've added this position which makes this FEN called Knights Kings into Vice.C because we'll be looking at generating non-sliding piece moves in this video. So let's go down to where we were in our non-slide loop and at the moment as we saw in the last video we get the piece at well, the, the non-sliding piece, we move through the non-sliding piece away, so we would, if we were side white, start with a white knight and then get the white king. So once we've got the piece type, we do exactly the same thing as we did, say, with the black pawns here, which is just loop through the piece list to find all the pieces that are on our board of that type. So I've already prepared some stuff here to make things go a little bit quicker. And inside the loop here, I'm going to start off our standard familiar now for loop to loop through all of, let's say, starting with the white knight, the white knight's on our board. So I get the square the white knight is on, I assert the square's okay. And for a bit of clarity, when we run this at the end, I'm printing what piece it is and what square it's on. So the next thing to do is to think about how we're going to generate the moves. So let's imagine we have this pawn on uh, knight, sorry, on b7 here. And this knights can move in eight directions. So we need something to tell the program that we need to loop through eight different directions. And for each of those directions, we need to add that direction onto the square this is on. So we would, and that would then give us the squares around the knight that it can jump to. What we then need to do for each of those squares is to say, is the square off the board? If so, we can't generate a move. Is the square empty? If so, then we can go to that square as a normal move. Does the square have a white piece on it if it does generate a capture? And if the square has a black piece on it, then don't do anything because there's no legal move we can make. So for example, the knight on b7 will in this direction up here go off the board. And this knight here on e6 has a capture on g5 and can't go to f8 because a piece of its own colors on there. So let's look at how we do that. Well, the first thing we need to do, we're back to array land. We need to put an array in that for each piece, a bit like we had an attack.c, tells us the directions that the pieces can move in. So here, index by piece, here's a knight, for example, bishop, rook for white, and then a black knight, bishop and rook, simply telling us what the direction increments are for these pieces. We also need, though, an array to tell us for each piece type how many directions they have, so that when we loop through this array, for example, for the rook, we only loop four times because it's only got four directions it can move in. And that's the reason for this num dir array here, also indexed by piece. Bear in mind I don't set the pawns here because we're not going to be using this array for the pawns. So now all that remains is to do exactly what I said, is just to see whether the square, the target square is off board or something like that. So I go back down to the function and I start off with a for loop to loop through all of the directions that our piece can go to. So say it was a white knight, that would have returned 8 here, so we'd be lo looping from 0 to 7. And we'd simply be taking each of the directions for the white knight type at indexes 0 to 7. We then make our target square, the square that the knight is on, plus the direction. And now we can start doing our testing to see whether we can generate a move. The first thing we say is, is the target square off board? If it is, then let's continue to the next direction. The next thing we say is quite an interesting little bit, and it's dealing with the capture. So we say, if on the target square, the piece that's on the target square is not empty, it could then be a capture. So what we then need is a way to say, is the color of the piece on that square the opposite of our color? And conveniently, Black and white are 0 and 1 in our constants. So if I do black, exclusive ord with 1, I get white. Because if you do 0, exclusive or 1, you get 1. And likewise, if you do 1, exclusive or 1, you get 0. So it changes white to black. So I can simply say, if the piece color of the piece on the target square, because we know it's not empty, is equal to side, our side, exclusive ord with 1, so basically the opposite of our side, then I'll generate a capture. At the moment I'm just printing that we'll generate a capture to the screen. And then here 
I continue because the square wasn't empty, so there's nothing else to do. There's no more move to generate. Otherwise, the square was empty, so I generate a normal move on that square. So now that's implemented, it's simply a matter of going back to Vice, or well not going back to Vice, going back to the console, typing make and holding your breath, and it's compiled, and then simply running it and seeing what kind of moves we've generated. So here we can say we've got the knight on e6, and we've gone to g5 with a capture, that's good. We've gone to f4 normal, d4 normal, c5 normal, c7 normal, d8 normal, and g7. And we haven't gone to f8, so that looks all okay. Now let's have a look at b7, the knight on b7, and that's going to d6, which is correct. It's going to c5, a5, which is correct, and should also, yep, go to d8, and nowhere else. So we can confirm here we're not going off the board either. Now let's have a look at the king on f8, and that also potentially can go off the board because it's already on the 8th rank. So e8 is correct, f7 is correct, g8 is correct, g7 is correct, and e7. Good, so it looks like our loop is working there. Let's just do one more little thing, and let's flip the side to move here and just check that it's alright for white. So I'll type make. Vice, and let's see what delights we have set up for white here. So the white knight on d3 can move in eight directions with f2, e1, c1, b2, b4 is correct, c5, e5, and f4. Now the knight on g5 can do an h3, yes, it can do an f3, yes, an e4. Capture on e6 is correct, normal f7, normal on h7, and this looks right for the king, e1, g1, f2, d. yep, that's all correct. Good. So it looks like the non-sliding piece move generation is, for the moment anyway, functioning okay before we go into deeper debug testing with the perf testing later. Okay then, that's it for this video. In the next video we're going to do the same thing but for the sliding pieces. Thanks very much for watching. Comments, questions, criticisms are welcome as always on YouTube.